hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Atlantis The Lost Empire Leviathan Attack. Part 1 of many, because we're probably going to die here. I mean, when we last left off, the Ulysses was attacked, and now, I guess, it turns out it was by a gigantic uh, lobster. Crayfish? I'm not sure. This section was hard. Well, not hard. Wait, what buttons fire? Oh, it's X. Okay. I am not very good at shoot em ups. Controls reverted. That's fine. That's fine. Controls reverted. Don't freak out. It's just like when you get the skull and the bomber man. Okay. The energy bolts are the little squiggly blue things. Let's see. See that down there? Ah, uh, that. Thank you. It's a meal boy. Ha! What do I mean it's difficult? I'll probably do it without getting a single hit. I don't know why, but this always just seemed like such an epic sequence to me. For a PlayStation 1 game, keep in mind. Like, everything has to be contextualized. For a PS1 Disney game. Disney. Disney. Was responsible. It's a licensed title. Ah, uh, we took damage. Failure. Yep. Wow, exciting. Pew pew pew. Okay, I would really like if this part would be over. I'm I neither like nor good at shoot em ups. You know what always happens when I play shoot em ups is there's like a part where I'm, I'm focusing on the bullets and then my like my vision starts to go blurry and I almost fall asleep because there's like so much to focus on it's like oh, okay I, you know I'd rather just go read a book or something oh. ha, can't get me I would never take damage on a game made for children This part's not hard, but at the same time, it's maybe more difficult than you might be expecting. Uh, what does the lightning power up do? I can't remember. Oh, it's health. Okay, sounds good. Uh, thank you for the the um, Atlantean symbol. I'll be taking that, and I'll be taking this lightning ball. Oh! Mushrooms and crabs and lobsters and what's this? Is it a checkpoint? I think it's a checkpoint. Yeah, checkpoint activated. Grab the shiny symbol, not because we want it, but because we can. Ah! Oh no, I missed. Ha! Huh. I don't need that extra life. It's not like we'll ever die. Why, hello there, Mr. Shiny Symbol. Please get into my belly. Oh, checkpoint, thank you. How kind of you. I feel like there's a green crystal. I never liked collecting the Atlantean symbols, but I did like getting the green crystal on each level because they felt a bit more hidden. I think it's around here somewhere. I remember it being near a pillar. Having to go under it. And dying to get it, so yeah. Hmm. Will I get the green crystal or won't I? Oh, I guess we're going this way. Oh, is that, that up there? Oh, okay. 
There it is. I mean, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I would have been so sad if I had missed that. Checkpoint activated. Yeah. Oh no, it's Mr. Lobster. And he's mad. Mad as a hatter. It does take a while, this level. I think we're near the end. Funny! I, I just knew it. Oh, I've played this game so many times. I mean, it's been like 10 years since I last played it, but it was like, once I got there, I was like, yeah, we're nearly near the end. So I'm going to do about one level per an episode, but this is... The vehicle levels are an exception because they're so short. You'll be back. This next level is really cool because it's it's like a mini hub level, but there's only one of them in the game. Okay, so this was cool. And this was a major... On dry land at last, and on the road to Atlantis. Uh, the journal mentions a great stone door. It can only be opened with special gems from the two trials of fire and ice. Once we complete the trials and get the gems, Atlantis should be moments away. You know, when you consider that they're called, like, trials of fire and ice, you think, oh yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, they, they feel somewhat difficult. The, these are not easy levels. But this level here isn't so much a level as it is a hub that you return to a couple of times. I don't actually need these crystals. I don't really want them. But I'm going to collect them because, as I said, magpie. If you want a fun video, look up the video where a magpie attacks an Australian streamer. That was amusing. It's a big level as well. So we need to get this drill operational at some point. But I don't think we can yet. The expedition's digger, unfortunately, was damaged in the Ulysses evacuation. But with a substitute part and Audrey's know-how, we might be able to get it going again. So we've got sort of three missions. Uh, complete the fire trials of fire and ice, and then repair the digger so we can get through this big wall over here I'll be taking that thank you very much so we come back to this level I think oh well only one more time but it's just it's just was always neat that it's a level based game but they actually make you come back to a previous level in order to continue I recently uh, played the PS4 remake of Medieval. I loved it. I never played Medieval on the PS1. I loved Medieval on PS4. It was so fun. But again, thinking about Medieval and thinking about Atlantis, and there's kind of like, I guess, actually, I think uh, Atlantis is almost a, I don't know whether I say a better game, but it's more polished and functional, maybe? This part's cool. So you think, oh, wow, what's down here? Well, not much. One thing about PS1 games I always thought was kind of neat was because they've got low draw distances. You can never see too far in front of you. So you take a game like uh, Silent Hill on PS1. The foggy fog kind of plays into the, the atmosphere of the game. So when you like, you, like this is where we, we start the level here, right? And then there's just this big watery abyss that where we came out of after the Leviathan attacked us. I think, oh, what's around here? You can't see anything. And then you look over in this corner. 
Like, oh, that's a funny shaped wall texture. It's a secret, but a secret integral to the game and experience because we'll need to come back here later. This is where we need the fire and ice gems. Oh, these enemies are awful. Ow, and they're poison. Nice. So yeah, we'll be coming back here. How much damage did I take, by the way? Uh... Oh, we're fine. Oh, why thank you for the health pack, kind sir. It is a crystal, let us grab it. Because we want it. Oh, this is cool. Uh, but we'll probably show what it does in the next level. So we've actually got a choice. We can do the fire, tri file of tri uh, tri trial of fire or the trial of ice. Never once have I ever done the trial of fire first. I do not like the trial of fire. I love the trial of ice. Let's do trial of ice. I mean, we could mix things up, but I just feel honestly kind of uncomfortable. Ah, I thought that was a secret, but it was just a, a bit of lighting. Okay, that's fine. Let us depart for adventure into the murky, inky abyss. And that's it for this level. Time to get the memory card. Oh, actually, we will be coming back here because we need to go there to activate uh, the fire trial. You'll be back. Yeah, we will be back. Back to the cove at some point in time. It is the ice trial. You go? Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this part, and we'll be back shortly.